Hello, this is Prince of Somnia, and I just got interrupted by a fire drill! While recording, let's play Final Fantasy V! <sighs> I just, I really hate it when I'm in the middle of doing something and then all of a sudden I just hear ee, 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 Like really, really, really loud Ugh. Anyway, yeah, so we're here in Castle X Death trying to save our party Let's go exploring it Oh Lutz Lutz? No, locked I'm flustered, viewers. I just... Uh, I don't know if I've told this story before, but there was a time when I was staying in a hotel with God knows where. And uh, it was like kind of early-ish in the morning, not really like small hours of the morning, but still pretty darn early. You know, early enough for me to be asleep in my pajamas, right? And the fire alarm goes off! Because of all these shell bears. No. Uh, none of these guys are really weak. Tarantulas are weak to ice. Shell bears can be cat uh, set with toad. And really, Gaia's wrath should be just about enough to handle everything in here. Yeah, more than enough. But anyway, so yeah, it was early enough for me to be still, you know, asleep and wrapped up in my pajamas. And the fire alarm goes off. So I had to leave the building. Except, well, my room was on the ninth floor and I was in pajamas. It was not an enjoyable experience, viewers. But boss time against Gilgamesh is a much more enjoyable experience. Let's see, this guy has... Well, he has a ton of HP, but he pretty much flees after he takes damage beyond the initial 1500. Uh, you can avoid this and sorta kind of kill him. I mean, he'll still run away, but you can kill him by casting something like Death Claw or whatever, and then tapping him on the side of the head. And doing so will give you an elixir as well as allowing you to progress with the plot. It's, there's still the same kind of uh, conclusion to the whole affair, I guess you could say, no matter what you do, but whatever. So anyway, yeah, we, that was actually pretty easy. What gives X Death? I suppose it's all in fairness, you know, they wouldn't want you to have to face off against some frickin' ridiculous level 9,000 enemies or anything like that when you're just all alone as Galuf and got webbed. Okay, that didn't sound right at all. Whatever. Well, these guys are all weak to ice, so we can shiva them in the face. We can shiv them in the face. <laughs> uh. I don't think anything in here has a lot of HP to begin with, so I wouldn't worry about it. How close are you to another level up? Job level up, are there? 2 ABP, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Har, 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 har. Alright, let's get the jump on these guys. Ferris, do the honors. Ooh, right on time. Right now, jump may not be all that impressive, but trust me when I say later on it does get to do some pretty decent damage. It's actually part of the reason why I want Ferris to learn two-handed from ninjas, because you can equip two lances on Ferris, and jump will deal two hits every time it lands, which is really, really nice. Unlike the Bravely series, it's actually worthwhile to have... Uh, only one weapon and a shield equipped on your physical fighters. Alright, summon level 4. Damn. Let's see. Get 100 ability until you master the next level of summoner. How are you on Black Mage? Also level 4. Mm. You know what? I want to keep Gallop on Summoner for right now. Later on, I think I'll start using Black Mage a little bit more. But uh, right now, not so much. Um, I don't know why we're so worried about them seeing us now when we weren't earlier, but okay, game. Alright, 
let's rest up here. Might want to save beforehand. Although I think now we can just walk out the front door, so I don't know what I'm so worried about. Hmm, uh, whatever. I do what I want, viewers. Hmm, new music. Um, let's see. I want Gaia for this area. Uh, yeah, that'll do us good. Let's see. Power armlet on a time mage. Somehow I don't think so. Um, can you not equip the... No, you can't. Damn. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, yeah, I want to equip Gaia, uh, especially while we're walking on the swamps, because Gaia deals uh, pretty good damage while in this area, actually. Anyway, uh, these guys, Devilfish, uh, they are immune to water, or they absorb it, I'm not entirely sure which. And they're weak to lightning, so basically... Ooh, nice! Yeah, that's one of the big reasons why I want Guy here, is Bottomless Bog instantly kills all enemies. And it works on only the swamps, it's really, really nice. Uh, I was hoping we'd run into some more new enemies here instead of the same old, same old, but... Well, whatever. Nuts. Poison Mist is not so good. I'm willing to bet it poisons enemies, but I don't really care about that. Okay, well, we'll just Ramu you all in the face. <laughs> Whoa! Holy crap! <laughs> that was, uh... Quite a bit more damage than I was expecting. Anyway, our map's been updated. It's kind of weird looking a little bit. Hmm. But this is our new world. Or Gallif's world, rather. And, well, we're stuck here for the rest of our lives. Anyway, um... What do I want to do with my jobs? I only really wanted Gaia while we were still on the swamps, so I'm going to switch back to Time White for you. Um, uh, gauche. Is that really how you pronounce that, or is it like a gauche or something like that? Maybe I'll ask my roommate. I think it's like a German word or something. Hmm, whatever. Um, Bart's can stay as a samurai. Ferris, good as a dragoon. And... Galif, do you have blue? Yes, you do. Okay, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we've got kick-ass music! This, viewers, is The Clash on the Big Bridge. Quite possibly the most famous song in all of Final Fantasy V, because it is made of awesome! Uh, I love this song so much. Anyway, we've got some new enemies over here. Little Chariots. Let's see. These guys can sometimes use Mustard Bomb. And they're not really much weak to much, much of anything, so let's just Judgment Bolt them or tighten them in the face. Either one works. Anyway, uh, sorry for that little distraction there. Oh, thank God you didn't hit Lena with that. Um, anyway. Let's see, we've got flying killers here. Huh. Well, would you look at that? I source got a name wrong. Well, in any case, none of the enemies here are particularly scary, so... I wouldn't worry about that. More flying killers. Uh, how about we get a good cure all on everyone? Oh, this song is so amazing. If you think it's great now, well, I guess it doesn't get any greater. But still, it's really, really awesome.
Man, there's a lot of enemies here. You know what, I'm not gonna edit anything out here because this song is just way too awesome. I uh, want to defend. Uh, maybe I should use Kira. If you really wanted to, you could just Zeninage all your problems away, but that's just a horrible waste of money, so I wouldn't do it. Nothing here is particularly powerful anyway. Die! And now, young Skywalker, you will die. Man, these guys are laying the hurt on us. Although, I think I am a little bit underleveled, so that might be part of the reason why. Just about every remixed version of this song from this point in the series onward is just so great. It really is. Uh, more flying killers. Totally makes up for being interrupted by a fire alarm. What the? He's back! And this time, he means business. It's go time! Alright, it's boss time against Gilgamesh! Now, contrary to what everyone seems to believe about this fight, you can't steal any Genji equipment off of Gilgamesh this time around. Normally, when you fight Gilgamesh, you can, but in this case, no, that, that won't work. Anyway, let's get slow on this guy. That's good. Um... How about you White Wind us to get us all healed up, Gallif? Gallop's gonna be taking care of all the healing for the rest of this fight because I want Lena to use Mute against this guy. Because Gilgamesh can cast some pretty nasty spells later on. Basically, the way Mute works is that all allies and all enemies will be prevented from casting every kind of spell except for uh, blue magic. Yeah, see, summons are all blocked out, but blue we could still use. That's why I want Gallop to be taking care of all the healing. Um, other than that, uh, G uh, Gilgamesh here is heavy type, so you pretty much want to use like stuff like a thousand needles, straight up damage, that kind of good stuff. Let's see, he can use Wind Slash as well as the blue magic spells Goblin Punch and Era, both of which you should already have at this point, so. Well, if you didn't, now is as good a time as any. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ow. The reason why I wanted to cast um, Mute on everyone, even though it won't stop him from using blue magic, is because uh, later on in the fight, Gilgamesh will counter attacks with Haste Shell and Protect on himself, which is bad. So, I want to stop him from doing that. Let's see, Lena, you just defend. You're useless in this fight. This is taking a while. I might just have Galif use Titan. But nope, not Zeninage. That that would be bad. Ow! That hurt surprisingly hard. Oh right, mute. I forgot. Uh, a thousand needles then. If he gets too low on MP, he'll just use an elixir or something. Where did it go? There it is. A thousand needles. Gilgamesh actually has quite a bit of HP, by the way, so... Um, yeah, why don't you give him, like, an elixir or something? I've got nine other things I'm not really worried. Oh, there we go. Ha ha! You cannot cast spells! Oh, nuts. Well, I'm not entirely sure what that was supposed to do, but clearly it didn't work. 
Oh, wow, Lana got hit pretty hard there. Uh, from what I've read, when an enemy uses jump, it's like a physical magic attack. It's kind of like a, it's a physical attack that deals damage based on magic power, I think. At least that's what I seem to recall. My source has been wrong before, so I'm not entirely sure. And as you can see, he clearly has an unfair advantage of his jump ability, but whatever. Whatever, Gilgamesh gets a pass for being such a com comedic relief. Let's see. I'm not summoned. That was a Needles. Yeah, if you hadn't muted him, uh, he would have been a lot more annoying to face off against. See ya! Yeah, so once you get him down past 6,500 HP or so, I think he just runs away because he's a pansy. And you can't stop him this time. He's heavy type, so Deathclaw won't work on him. Let's see, we've got Neo Galuras back there, as well as Mero. Um, let's see. None of these guys, again, are particularly that scary. I think the Marrows up front there are weak to Thunder? I don't know, I don't have it in my notes, so I can't be sure. Well, as I always say, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, you may notice that Galif is going to start eating his way through his MP a lot faster. Okay! No Thunder on the Galura! Good to know, game. Whoops. But uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, Gilgamesh shows up a lot in uh, subsequent Final Fantasy games. With this battle theme, to be precise. Well, when he does have a battle theme. I'm particularly fond of the remix of the theme they did for Final Fantasy XII. That's a really good version. But then again, it's hard to get this song wrong now, isn't it? Man, just wait until we fight Gilgamesh later on in the game. Holy cow. Gilgamesh is definitely one of my favorite characters, by the way. In case you haven't seen all of his humor already. I've been kind of glossing over it a little bit, so yeah, you know. But anyway. Man, there's a lot of enemies here. I've heard that uh, all the enemies here can't be encountered again if you miss them, so don't miss them if you're going for a completed bestiary. I hope you like seeing me cast Gaia's Wrath, viewers. It's pretty much our best magical offense for this point in the game. Did we make it? Barrier? What barrier? Oh, that barrier. The seizure barrier. Nuts. Looks like we got blown away. Man, it's so powerful it even blew away the awesome music. Ow. <laughs> I totally killed the mood. <laughs> I just rammed my elbow into an open desk drawer. Oh, rammed. Tapped, really. Heck, I'm pretty tapped. Nope. Oh, La Cinea. Really? Is that how you say it? Or, no, Glaciana. My bad. I think. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. It's not like this is a town or anything. It's just some area in the back end of nowhere. Aww. How long has it been, Gallif? Clearly you've moved up in the world. Well, whatever. Anyway, now we've got all our party members back! Yay! I'm not gonna scream more party members this time, because it's not really more party members. It's just... The party members we've already had. I'm gonna rest up in a tent here because I want to have 
maybe not full MP, but near full MP, because Galif is going to take over for the healing for a little while, because I want Lena to have access to Gaia for the potential uh, bottomless bog procs that we can get off of it. It's a little rare, but, well, it can happen. It's still good. It's still good. So, yeah. Let's see. We're all the way up here in some ass-end corner of the world. It's kind of weird how none of the worlds seem to have ice areas or, like, the snowy northern reaches. I mean, look over there. There's a freaking desert up north here. Or, well, east of here. Anyway, yeah, we're trying to get east to that little dot over there, so let's just keep on moving. Just keep going this way. There were a couple of enemies I think we missed over near Extet's castle, the exterior. Uh, I think we saw the double fish, but there were also treants that were also weak to lightning. Uh, and they could cast Berserk on themselves as well as Death Claw. Uh, and then there was also like Draperers or something like that. And they're also weak to lightning and they can use Dark Spark on you. Which is kind of nasty. Anyway, these guys are tunnelers. They like to use Discord, which can have your party's level. Which is really, really bad, because having your party's level uh, neuters your offense, basically. Oh, I could have it, it having you use Gaia. Oops. Well, whatever. Since we're trying to train up a couple of job classes right now, our setup isn't exactly what you would call stable, but whatever. I don't understand why they felt the need to add an extra ability to level half when you already have Dark Spark. Although it seems to me Discord hits a lot more often than Dark Spark does, but whatever. Ooh, my voice is getting a little scratchy. Ooh, more new enemies. Uh, Devourers. Uh, these guys are immune to lightning, and that's just about all I care about for them. <laughs> Doesn't matter, they're all dead sucked them straight into hell. How close are we? And we're getting there. Let's see, there are a couple more enemies here that we haven't quite run into yet. These guys are not it. Let's see. Go for a good Gaia. Eh, Branch Arrow isn't that bad. Maybe we can have Bart's finish off the tunnel and... Okay, well, maybe not. Um, why don't you give us a good white wind? There we go. One of the really bad things about jump... Yeah, you see, it didn't even hit Ferris there, even though it was targeting her. Uh, that's because she was in the air when I selected the target, so it didn't count. Man, you got your level halved twice. That sucks. Also, these tunnelers seem to have quite a bit of HP. Yeah, you see how little damage she's doing? And how much she's taking? Yeah, that's what happens when your level gets halved. You're almost as wimpy as your sister, Ferris. That is sad. Ooh, Ether. Nice. Yeah, there was uh, other enemies there. There was, like, Biostris, I think they're called. They can use Transfusion. Fairy Orcs, if you cast Cure on them, they counter with Kiraga on your entire party. Let's see. Regol, huh? Regol A. I think it's Regol. Well, I'll be. Let's go visit the magic shop. There's really, really good stuff here. In fact, uh, if you don't quite have the cash for all of the magic spells here, leave town and, like, grind for money, because these, this is really, really good stuff here. Well, okay, maybe not the white magic spells, but definitely the other ones. Um, actually, funny story, first time I played this game, I overused... Zeninage, like I said, I think in the last episode, and when I came here, I basically had no money, and I had to grind my ass off. This time, I'm a lot richer than before. Blink and Shell aren't really all that interesting. Blink basically works just like the ninja's image ability. It gives you uh, two hits, guaranteed evasion. Shell, um, I believe it boosts both your magic defense and your magic evasion, I think? I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I know that Blink also helps with uh, avoiding debuffs. Or not Blink, Shell. It helps avoid avoiding or helps avoid debuffs. So that's pretty nice. At least I think it does. Anyway, these black magic spells are all really great. Not so much for black mages, but especially for 
your Mystic Knights, which I can't use right now because Katanas can't be affected by Spellblade for some godforsaken reason. I don't know why, but they can't. Anyway, Drain uh, basically absorbs HP per strike, or well, per usage. Uh, cast as a spell, it's really not all that great, but use the Spell Sword, it's really nice. Same goes for Break, Spell Sword really helps out there. Not so much for actually casting. Bio is actually really, really, really powerful no matter what you do with it. You can either cast it or use it as a spell sword. It's a poison elemental spell that inflicts the poison status whenever you cast it, as well as dealing crap loads of damage that I think either partially or completely ignores magic defense. I can't really remember what. One of the nice things about Bio Spell Sword is that if an enemy is weak to poison elemental attacks, it has a chance of just killing the enemy outright. Like, it won't even do any, like, damage. It'll just flash the screen like a critical hit, and then the enemy will die instantly. And for time magic, we've got Comet, Sloga, and Return. Comet is an offensive magical attack. It deals fairly random damage on a single target, which is alright, I guess. Sloga casts slow on all enemies. Not really that great. Most importantly... We've got Return, which will turn back time to the beginning of battle, so in case you're trying to grind for like a rare steal or something, it'll just reset the whole battle so you can fight the same enemies over and over and over again in different battles. So that's really, really nice. It also uh, lets you re-roll for magic attack, or not magic attack, preemptive strike and back attacks, so that's pretty nice. Anyway, new weapons here, we've got the uh, Aura Chalcum Dirk, or Halcum Dirk, sorry. Uh, not really all that great. Warhammers, I don't care about. You sure, you should already have. Sleep Blade, I don't care about. It is kind of nice, but at this point, I'm not using anything that can make use of the Sleep Blade, so I'll just ignore it for now. Wind Spear is a good upgrade for Ferris. Dark Bows, you should already have more than enough of. Dream Harps are virtually useless, as are Chain Whips. So let's go ahead and slot that on her real quick. Let's see. Wind Spear, yeah. Nice damage upgrade there. Again, you could have stolen it from one of the enemies, but I figure it's just better just to buy it, really. Um, and we should sell off some of our excess crap, because we're running out of space here. Um, how much do these sell for? Not much. Whatever, okay. Um, let's sell off old equipment. Um, uh, I don't need the Mithril Knife. Am I going to use... I'll just sell it. I don't think I'm going to use the ranger for a long time yet. So, long sword, mithril sword, coral sword, I'll keep the ancient sword for later. Mithril hammer, I don't think we need. We have the death sickle. Uh, keep the rods around. Definitely keep the healing staff. We can get rid of the thunder and frost bows. Keep the dark bow for later. Sell off the silver harp. Did I want to keep? Nah, nah. Blitz whip we can sell. Whip we can sell. Old shields. Don't want to sell the death sickle. Definitely don't want to sell the ribbon. Holy crap! When did we get a ribbon anyway? I forget. Uh, yeah, that should give us more than enough money for what I need. If if it doesn't, I'll just sell more crap off. Normally, I don't sell crap off in video games. I'm a hoarder. But I guess this time I will. Yeah, let's just sort all our stuff here. Oh, I suppose so. Let's see. Got an extra golden shield for Bards. Uh, a couple of golden helms for the armored characters there. Let's see. I want a suit of Gaia gear. And another one, really, but I need to sell more crap off. And I want some wizard hats, and another set of... No, oh, I don't want another set of golden armor, the ninja suit's good enough. See, I want two wizard's hats, and another guy gear, so I'm gonna have to sell more crap off. <sighs> Definitely don't need that anymore. Uh, keep the mage masher, keep the golden shield, because we just bought that. Another cap. Silver plate, we can sell that off. Uh, keep the extra ninja suit, ditch the Kenpoki. No, I don't want to catch the Kenpoki. Sell that off, sell that off, sell that off, sell that off. Man, we're running short on cash. 
Uh, no, we just bought that. What the hell am I doing? We can sell off one of the silver specs at least. No, let's sell off a couple more because we only need two. Uh, will that give me enough? I don't think it will. Damn. Well, oh, no, I want to keep buying from you. The wizard's hats are a little bit more important than the extra Gaia gear at this point. So let's slap that on, everyone. Let's see. We got an extra golden shield. Wow, look at our evasion. Holy crap. Let's see, golden helm. We already got the armor. And we don't have any gloves. Let's see, wizard's hat. We can keep the sage surplus. Wizard's hat. Gaia gear, so now Titan will be boosted even further. Because, of course, we need all that obscene damage. Absolutely. Golden helm. Keep the ninja suit and the mithril. The Mithril Glove. So there we go. I might think about selling off some crap for the extra guy gear later, but I don't think I will. Oh, you lost your ribbon, huh? Yeah, there's a secret passage right here. You can talk to her, and she'll ask her about her ribbon. Spoiler alert, she's gonna find that ribbon eventually. And when she does, we'll be here to seize it. What do you guys got? Ooh, you sell high potions. Uh, oh, we already stocked up on several potions. Having a lot of potions around is really good if you've already got the mix ability, but I do not, so I won't worry about that. Which one of you guys sells holy water? Yeah, I want to buy a couple of holy waters. Maybe three or so, so I don't have the money for much more than that. They also sell drink items that I don't care about. Just about all of those drink items can be replicated using um, the mix ability anyway, so I really don't care. Really? Hmm. Oh, sure, I'll dance for you. Heck yeah! Man, Bart. Well, I guess you're young and need the money. Hmm. <laughs> Everything's better with spinning viewers. Look at the diamond and pearl anime. <laughs> oh, sweet! We get 100 gil, which you can replicate as many times as you want if you cared about it. Full out grinding's probably easier than dancing for them, but hey, I, I guess it's fun. Really? Hmm, we're not gonna check that out later, though. Or, well, not now at least. I mean, you could if you want to, but it generally leads to a swift and painful death if you do. And I don't like swift and painful deaths. I prefer living. Now, somewhere around here is a piano that I'm trying to find. Isn't there a piano somewhere around here? Where in the heck? Oh, let me guess, there's a secret passage? Oh, would you look at that, viewers! Awesome. Was that Beautiful Dreamer? It sounded a lot like Beautiful Dreamer. Except faster, for some reason. I would sing, but I don't know the lyrics to Beautiful Dreamer, so... Well, whatever. Oh, sweet! Looks like tonight's on the house, for some reason. You would think he'd charge us more for being the first customers in a while, since he's kind of, you know, not really running his business well, but whatever. Oh, look! Looks like Galif's got insomnia. With all the insomnia characters in RPGs, maybe I should change my name to Prince of Insomnia. Nah, nah, that would be stupid. So where'd you sneak off to, old man? Are you off at the bar getting drunk? You better not be. Oh, look, he totally is. <laughs> I 
I was about to say, what is this like in the original Super Famicom version? And and then I remembered that the Super Famicom version didn't pass through uh, 90s Nintendo of America's all-seeing eye, so... <laughs> whatever. Oh, 90s Noah. Speaking of Noah, I saw the... Uh, I'm recording this on September the 1st, so I just saw the uh, Nintendo Direct for... Well, that came out today. Man, where do they get all the time to come up with so some crazy crap like that? <laughs> uh, Nintendo Directs always make me laugh. It reminds me a lot of back when they used to have Nintendo Power, but uh, well, sadly, Nintendo Power is no more. Rest in peace. I stuck around for the last three years of that run of Nintendo Power, but, uh, well, whatever. I'd imagine it, the uh, final issue would have been more profound for someone who had been there the whole time, but... Mm. I could thank Nintendo Power for a lot of things, though. It's the, uh, it's where I heard of Golden Sun Dark Dawn several years ago, and well, now I'm at the point where I'm let's playing Golden Sun too. so... But anyway, so yeah. Now I guess we've got nothing better to do than just wander around Gallif's world for some reason. I don't know what we hope to accomplish, or anything like that. Well, whatever. What can we find around here anyway? You'll just have to find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V. See you guys then!